You said we will rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you, Jesus. You said we will be glad in it. We thank you. We thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We thank you. We thank you. We are forever, forever, forever grateful. We thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord, our God, how excellent is your name in all the earth. How excellent, excellent is your name, Lord. Oh, we have returned like that one leper to say thank you. We have returned for the day to thank you. We have all returned to say thank you. Your work for the day, we have returned to thank him for strength, for vigor, for vitality that he has given to every one of us for the success of the day we have returned to thank you with a heart of gratitude we have returned our heart is full of gratitude jesus oh grateful 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 jesus oh thank you <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> this is the 24th day of May 2022. Lord, we owe you thanks. The 24th day of May. The fifth month, 2022, God has been faithful. Faithful, faithful are you, Lord Jesus. You have been faithful. Oh, you have been faithful. Papa, you do well. Papa, you do well. Papa, you do well. You do well. Fruitful vine. Amen. 
Amen. I said the way maker and the covenant keeper will turn you to a fruitful vine. Amen. Therefore, I decree fruitfulness for all our expectant fathers and mothers Amen. and all those that are standing in a gap for their loved ones. Your testimony is established. Amen. I said your testimony is established. Amen. Let's look at the topic for today. What is our topic for today? Uprooting every tar of barrenness. Uprooting, let's say it together, uprooting every tar of barrenness. Genesis chapter 1, verse 31. I read, it said, And God saw that everything that he had made, and behold, it was very good. And the evening and the morning were the sixth day. And then we look at Matthew chapter 13, verses 25 and 28. It said, But men slept. His enemy came and saw tars among the wheat and went his way. Now 28, he said, He said unto them, An enemy had done this. The servant said unto him, Will thou then that we go and gather them up? And James chapter 1, verse 17, he said, Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above. He said from above, babies is one of the good gifts he has given to us. They manufacture babies in heaven and is needed on the earth. So every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and cometh down from the Father of light with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. In the beginning, everyone was made very good. From the beginning, and in the beginning, he made everyone, everyone was made very good. The price of fruitfulness has been fully paid for. It has been paid. So you cannot suffer barrenness again because the price of fruitfulness has been paid for. This month will mark the end of miscarriages and difficulty in your life. In Jesus' name. Amen. I want you to believe the word and claim it. Believe it and claim it. How to uproot the tasks of barrenness? Because we need to ask ourselves how to uproot the tasks of barrenness. You know, we got that theme from Matthew chapter 13 verse 25 and 28. That is where the topic came from. So how do you uproot the root of, that is the task of barrenness? Number one, to uproot it, I want you to know, people of God, Tarts are never planted. Tarts are unwanted weed. 
seed. When your seed is planted, tars begin to contend with your seed. So how to uproot the tars of barrenness? Let's look at it. Number one, identify those tars and also identify the devil as the enemy behind barrenness, not God. Identify the devil as the enemy and you must be able to locate the tasks around you as a family you locate it identify where they are and begin to uproot them because they are not useful tasks are not useful so you uproot them so we want to know those things that are not useful for your barrenness, that, that for your fruitfulness, that but is making you sad. And so we want to locate those stars. So identify the devil as the enemy behind barrenness, not God. Look at 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11. 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11. It says, Lest Satan should get an advantage of you, for we are not ignorant of his devices. We are not ignorant of his devices. 1 John chapter, sorry, John chapter 1, verse 16, and you will read 17 later. John chapter 1, verse 16, it said the, vice, the advice is that we are not ignorant of Satan's devices, but should watch out. <laughs> the advice is that we are not ignorant of we are not ignorant of Satan's devices but watch out so please read for John chapter 1 verse 16 and 17 beware Satan specializes on tricks to get people off the track Beware and to displease God. Beware. You will not fall a victim. Beware. Because Satan is always hunting and specializes on tricks. Satan is not powerful. So don't ever mention again that this Satan is powerful. He's not. He's only full of tricks. And one of those tricks are just to make sure you get on off the track and you displace God. That's what he's always looking for. So you remember from the beginning you have been crying, weeping all through continuously. And you have had sleepless nights on this issue of burning over this issue. But I want to assure you, we are not ignorant, be beware that we are not ignorant of Satan's devices. Number two, let's look at it. Challenge the situation of barrenness and every negative medical condition. Challenge the situation of barrenness and every negative medical condition. Mark chapter 11, verse 23, it says, For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in your heart. It says, But shall believe, that those things which he has said shall come to pass. He shall have 
whatsoever he says. So that is number two. And then number three that we want to consider is stand fast in faith and resist barrenness without wavering. Stand fast in faith to resist barrenness without wavering. Don't be a coward. Stand fast and speak to your body must begin to respond. 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 13. It said, Watch ye, stand fast in the faith. Wait you like men and be strong. Stand fast in the faith. Wait ye like men and be strong. And then Ephesians chapter 6, verse 16. It said, Above all, Taking the shield of faith, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench every fiery dart of the wicked one. Every fiery dart of the wicked one troubling your life. You must take the shield of faith to quench it. And then first Peter chapter 5 verse 8 it said be sober be vigilant because your adversary the devil your adversary the devil as a roaring lion walking about seeking whom he may devour be vigilant be sober because your adversary, the devil. So I want you to know you have only one adversary, and that is the devil. The devil is all out to make you weep, but his game is over in your life. The game of the devil is over in your life. No more. We need to continue to play games over your life. And then number four that we want to consider today, number four is begin to prophesy to your body for fruitfulness. <laughs> it's a say to the righteous, begin to prophesy to your body. Your body will receive the fruit. The power of the highest will overshadow you. Your body will always receive pregnancy, conception. Your body will never reject it. In case you have been having miscarriages, that's the last you will ever have. In case your own has been negative medical report, each time you go for check or you go for scan, they say they can't find the baby or they can't do this or this is happening. I want to assure you today that begin to speak to your body. Your body must respond because you are made very good from heaven. And if you are made good, the enemy has no part in your body. So please speak to your body again. Is it speaking to yourself in hymns and in psalms? That is in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 16. Speaking to yourself in hymns and in psalms and spiritual songs and making melody to the Lord in your heart. Making melody to the Lord in your heart. So, people of God, these are things I want you to put in place. Begin to prophesy. Remember Ezekiel chapter 37, verses 4 to 10. You can take your time to read it when you get back home. Ezekiel chapter 37, verses 4 to 10. He said, go into the valley, that is, the camp of the valley bones, that is the camp of the dry bones, sorry. 
come from the dry bones and begin to prophesy. And bones were beginning to find theirs themselves and begin to fit in. I want you to also prophesy. You don't have to be a prophet before you prophesy to your body. And I want you, you have the mouth, prophesy to your body that my womb, you will carry baby, not for fibroid, not ovarian seeds, whatever they have said that is happening in your womb. Now begin to prophesy and say whatever the tree that the Lord has not planted shall be uprooted. So fibroid, you are uprooted today. Mm. Ovarian cyst, you are uprooted today. Mm. I'm just giving you the steps you take to prophesy to your womb and say the power of the highest will overshadow me mm. and give me my testimony. Mm -hmm. I want you to know that somebody gave back to you and you too, the chain will not die with you or stop with you. You will also give back to others. Mm -hmm. So I want you to believe it and begin to prophesy it. For how long do you keep saying it? Say it until you see your the manifestation. Mm -hmm. Begin to prophesy to your to your body. Are you are you a man? Prophesy to your body that your body will begin to respond. Your reproductive system will always respond. And then you speak to your body whatever medical, negative medical verdict that has been said, you begin to prophesy. You begin to prophesy to your body and that your body will produce after its kind. So as you prophesy, you see your body begin to produce after its own kind. For all pregnant women, you will deliver like the Hebrew women. Mm -hmm. None of you will cast your young. Mm -hmm. You will not cast your young. You will not be buried mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus. So mm -hmm. for every pregnant woman watching me live today, I want to assure you that when the time, the appointed time for your delivery comes, you will deliver like the Hebrew women. Mm -hmm. Every one of you, at the very appointed time, you will, you will hear the cry of the baby mm -hmm. and also the cry, that, that is the rejoicing, the smiles of the mother mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus. Amen. None of you will die a child back in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will live to see your children that is born in the name of Jesus with rejoicing in Jesus' name. And then number five, continue to give quality thanks and praise to God for perfection. Continue to give quality thanks and praise for perfection. Give quality thanks to God and praise for perfection. Mm -hmm. Because when you thank him, he perfects. When you thank him, he preserves. Mm -hmm. When you thank him, he multiplies. Mm -hmm. When you thank him, he increases. Mm -hmm. So thank him so that he will perfect and preserve mm -hmm. the seed that is inside you. Quality thanks give unto him. Habakkuk chapter 3, verse 17 and 18. He said, Although the fig tree shall not blossom, neither shall fruit be in the vines, the labor of the olive shall fail, and the field shall yield no meat, the flock shall be cut off from the fold, and there shall be no herd in the stock. Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God 
of my salvation. So continue to give thanks to the God of your salvation. And then Psalm 136, Psalm 138. So to say, he said that we should rejoice. Everybody rejoice. I want husband and wife rejoice today. Rejoice because my God will do great things. Mm -hmm. God will do great things for every one of you. Mm -hmm. So rejoice mm -hmm. and be glad yes. in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. So I say to every one of you, be blessed. Mm -hmm. Be blessed. Mm -hmm. Be blessed with your miracle seed Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Remember Genesis chapter 8, verse 22. He said, while the earth remained, seed time and harvest shall not cease. So I want to tell you today, the seed of the word has been planted. And I know that the word will germinate inside you and produce harvests, produce the fruits in the name of Jesus. The seed of the word has been planted in your heart. Let your heart receive it and begin to nurture it. And while you follow these steps, all the steps given to you how to uproot the tasks. Mm -hmm. I want to assure you that this same year you are coming with your desired testimony Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Be blessed. Amen. Be blessed. Amen. Please, I want every one of you to know I am all out to serve you. And please, Give me your time to serve you and to also pray along with you to ensure that your testimony is established. And this same year, your testimony shall be, shall be the order of the day for you in the name of Jesus. Shall we just pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, the word has been spoken. The seed has been planted. Lord, let it begin to bear fruits in the lives of everyone watching me live in the name of Jesus. Please remember that our next, our next fruitfulness class comes up on Tuesday 31st of May 2022. On Tuesday first, 31st of May 2022 and 8 o'clock 8 p.m. Nigerian time make it your own date so that God can enrich you and bless you and empower you in the name of Jesus Amen. so we will see you next week on this same platform at 8 p.m. Nigerian time be there and God bless you real good. Mm -hmm. We can't go, but still remind you of the recommended books. Please don't be lazy to read books. These books has done a lot in my life, especially these two books. And the books, recommended books, are You Shall Not Be Barren by Bishop David Oyedepo. Please pick that book it will do you a lot of good. And as you read, your own babies will drop on your lap mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And then what again? I want you to pick this particular, this other book, the second one, You Too Can Be Fruitful. Mm -hmm. You Too Can Be Fruitful by my humble self. And as you pick that book, it will do you a lot of good in the name of Jesus. Amen. So, right now, it is time for you to give your life to Jesus. <clears throat> you have been watching and you have been thinking in your heart, 
does God really care for me? Or does God have my time? Please, I want every one of you that you are watching and you want to give your life to Christ this hour, this time. Don't let this time pass by. Because when you give God chance, every form of crisis lives your life. If you don't want, if you want to be free from crisis, let Christ have a place in your heart. And you know what God said in Revelation chapter 3, verse 20. He said, My son, give me your heart. Sorry. He said, I stand at the door of your heart, knocking. If you open, I will come in. No matter how close your husband is or your wife is, nobody can open your heart for you. Only you, you know if you are born again or not. But you can make it a debt today to give your life to Christ. Please, in case you want to make it with God, all this you're sorrowing, weeping, that is, you keep sleepless nights over this issue. Please give your life to Christ or rededicate your life to Christ and say, God steps into my life. I'm tired of this uh, sleepless night. I'm tired of weeping every night I wet my pillow. Now, give your life to Christ for once. I want you to pick your telephones and say yes to this WhatsApp number. Say yes to this WhatsApp number. 0803-6402, sorry, 0803 0803-6420146. Please pick that number and say yes to the number. And as you say yes, we will attend to you immediately in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And in case you are in need of counseling, just also pick the same number and write counseling and we will attend to you for counsel. So I believe God will bless you real good in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Every one of you that wants to give your life to Christ, I want you to just bow down your heads and let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, touch everyone that has signified to give their life to you. Lord, wash them with your blood and come into their life and visit them today. Give them first-hand miracle in the name of Jesus. Every one of you will not regret these decisions you have made Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, receive everyone that give their life, that signify to give their life to you. Lord, we ask that today you refresh them, Amen. empower them, Amen. give them their heart's desires Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Be blessed Amen. in Jesus' name. And for all our expectant fathers and mothers, I say, be blessed. Amen. Receive your miracle today. Amen. And you will become a you become a joyful parent Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Have a good time and I love you dearly. You will we, I can't wait to hear your testimonies. And in case you have your own testimonies. You can also pick that WhatsApp number and write testimony and then download your testimonies and we can share with every other person or put it on the Facebook live page so that everybody can share with your joy and read your testimony. God bless you real good. Have a wonderful time and have a great day in the name of Jesus. 
bye for now. I love you dearly. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, Lord. We give you thanks, Jesus. Jesus, we give you thanks.